All right, guys, this is a good one today. You guys are gonna love this one. This is Sonny Red from the movie Donnie Brasco. That's me, that's me. We're gonna cover Sonny Red, the actual Sonny Red, Anthony Delegato's father, Anthony Delegato, Carmine Galente, uh, Jimmy Burke, the Jimmy Conway from Goodfellas, and uh, you're gonna love this. This is all the stories, and even Fat Tony uh, might make an appearance in this one. But these are all the stories from Pete when he was with these guys. This is a great one. You guys gotta subscribe. It's a good time. You're gonna love this. You got an action packed one. Lots of different stuff happening. And great stories, personal stories from a guy who never snitched. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We need you. We love you. Thanks, guys. I was in there with Carmine Galente. Okay. Oh, Carmine, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you this story. So, <laughs> he was an intimidating son of a bitch. Smaller than me, with the big cigars. And when he went at your face, it was that cold. You could feel the heat, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, he had, he actually had this, this guy locked up with him that didn't do shit. This guy was about six foot seven, big son of a bitch. That was his guy, you know? When you were up on the roof, you play a little handball now and then, right? <laughs> So you get these fresh guys that don't know shit, right? What do you mean? You hit the ball out. He's telling Carmine. <laughs> I hit the ball out. So the next time Carmine hit it, he hit it so one on the angle, went behind the fucking uh, air conditioning things. Next thing you know, the big gorilla is back there. <laughs> I, I come back. Mr. Mr. Galenti, I am so sorry. My eyes must be fucked up. That was a good ball. <laughs> that, that, that ain't the funny part. No. Every night. Every night. Every night he used to watch the news, you know? Yeah. Like fate. So I used to sit there watch the news with him, you know? Mm -hmm. One day, these two rookie cops come in, and they tell him, you gotta lock in. So I ain't saying shit, I'm a young kid now. Mm -hmm. So he goes, they come, come, he goes, who, me? He says, yeah, you gotta lock in your cell now. The cops, he, doesn't it too? Yeah, you know, the hacks. He says, right. uh, he says, I watch the news every night. He says, you get your cell now. So he looks at me, he looks at me, he nods his head, I think I gotta leave. I wasn't gonna leave him all. all right. I'm ready to run anyhow. So we, they lock us in, right? Yeah. About two weeks later, now you're right in the middle of Manhattan, Chinatown. He's right. absolutely the job. <laughs> Somewhere along the highway, they get pulled over. And they got an ass whooping like you wouldn't believe. They were laid up in the, the hospital. The CEO who told him to get in his, his cell. The two of them, yeah. So they were going home and somebody pulled him over and beat the shit out of him. So now we're watching, we're watching the news again, right? I'm sitting there. <laughs> and all of a sudden, the goon squad comes running with the warden and the captain. I'm saying, fuck. Yeah. I'm going to the, I'm going to the bing for sure, right? So they, they stop about <laughs> two foot away, you know, Mr. Galette, and they go, Mr. Galette, we just want you to know we had nothing to do with you being locked in your cell that night. <laughs> and I'm saying, what the fuck? The so warden too. Watching, I want to, you watch the news, whatever you need to do. But we want you to know that wasn't our orders. We didn't give them orders. They were rookies. They didn't know any better. He says, he says, I, says I bet you they know a little better now. <laughs> <laughs> now, isn't that the guy that uh, Anthony Delegato whacked? Well, supposedly, yes. Supposedly, uh, Carmine killed his, just killed his father. If you watch it, Sonny Red. His father right. was Sonny Red. Right. And his right. father was guy and uh and well let me just make another statement here sunny red was played by bobby miano and donnie brasco right correct and and you and i are pretty close with bobby right correct so <laughs> so the word is it now i i can't say nothing because i don't know for sure i know anthony's home and he's happy right. married you know, and uh next thing you know for the pages you know little mama pop store a restaurant yeah, I remember. Come, yeah, Westchester, right? Huh? Westchester, yeah. right? Yeah. Apparently, some guys walked in there with shotguns. Thought he was uh, thought it was duck season. <laughs> and he still had the scar in his mouth when he died, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. He clenched up. He was on the boat at the end of Donnie Brasco, too, that they were going to whack? Yeah. Yes, they were looking for him. And, yeah, that's when Lefty... And, they, and, the, and the feds came in on him. Stand stop him, yeah. Right, but I mean, that's the guy that we're talking about. Because they didn't mention it, Dottie Brasco, but that's Anthony. 
I think that other guy was the funniest cool. But dude, he could have been. He should have been that day. So didn't you guys date the same girl for a minute? Yeah, Kathy Burke. Kathy, uh, Kathy Burke is Jimmy Burke's Jimmy daughter, Burke. right? The one that's from years, Goodfellas. That's, yeah, that's years before. That's I, I'm just, before. I'm just trying to get everybody clued in oh, yeah. on how the chain of everybody's so close and all the families, even though, you know, and all the stories they see, you're connected to in some way, somehow. Yeah, I mean, I was like, six, I was six like, degrees, like, not, six degrees of separation. I'm not saying you were involved. I'm just saying, you know, every right. everything everybody's seen on TV, you you actually well, know the bullshit that isn't yeah, true. Well, I, mean, I met Jimmy and I like Jimmy. You know what I mean? Right. I, I told I told him at the time. I said, Jimmy, you know, let me rob a couple of trucks. I need the money. <laughs> oh, this is a great story. I yeah, love this story. Jimmy, she says, Pete, you can't reach the fucking pedals. <laughs> So I, I got embarrassed, you know. I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> and Anthony Stabile was one of my closest friends. He was like Jimmy's right hand guy. Yeah. Now, let's remind anybody who hasn't seen Goodfellas that Jimmy hated any kind of attention to his home or his businesses. He hated it all. That's why he killed everybody in Goodfellas, right? So before you finish the story, let's do this because it happens late at night. I go, to, I go to the airport that night, right? I see LaGuardia? No, Kennedy. Okay, Kennedy. Yeah. Jimmy, oh, Jimmy owned Kennedy, you know, so I figured if I got trouble, get me out. <coughs> so I'm looking around, I don't see nobody, so I climb up in his truck, right? And I get it yeah. started. I get it started. And I got it purring. And every time I go to put a drive, the fucking thing, I want to move. <laughs> I'm there for a half hour now. Air break. She says, she, you got a problem? I, I said, yeah, something's stuck here. He said, pull that red hand, let your air break. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's about 5.30 in the morning, right? It's, it's, it's light out, right? So I put pull up to Jimmy's house in Queens, right? And I'll be, stu not that I am, I'm blowing the fucking horn. Beep, beep. Jimmy tells Anthony, who the fuck is, because she was outside that truck. Anthony comes in and he says, oh my God, Pete. I said, I told him I could rob a fucking truck. So he said, Petey, calm down. So he goes in and tells Jimmy, he says, Jimmy, it's little Petey. Little, little Petey. Petey. What the, Anthony, get out there, get in that truck and take it to the warehouse. <laughs> he, says, he, he says, he says, I said, Jimmy, I, I just tried to prove that I can rob a truck. He says, you ever come to my fucking house and get a hot truck? He says, you know, hey. <laughs> That's before I was even with the boys. But, uh, right, and this is, this is, the, this is the guy that, that in Goodfellas took out everybody because he was worried about little things, not people beeping in his house. <laughs> <laughs> Now, wasn't that a lot of fun? I told you guys you'd like this one. Tell your friends, subscribe. Thanks for coming. We love you. Keep the comments coming in. Keep telling your friends. Keep talking to us. Tell us what you want to hear. And B and Bobby will be a guest soon. And probably for one of our live Q and A's, which you will have to be subscriber to see and ask questions to Bobby and B and me. So do it guys. We love you. Thanks. Great day.